Hey everyone, uh, I'm lying here on my couch because I'm exhausted. This is a very unofficial video, just uh, putting something up because I haven't put anything up on the channel in forever. And some of the upcoming content is going to be related to what I have to say here. So I figured I'd, you know, prep, you know, the eight or 12 of you who might be watching this. Um, I'm about to have ACL surgery. I'm going in in the morning. Um, to give some very quick background, I was uh, in a judo accident back last year. And in some of my videos, you can tell that I limp or I'm favoring a leg. I can't do certain things that put certain stresses on my left knee because it's not stable. It never healed completely. Um, <clears throat> never regained full function. It's been... 10 months now, 10 months, something like that, uh, a little over 10 months actually, since it was like November 1st or 2nd, and I just, I need to get it fixed, have an opportunity to do so thanks to my current job and the insurance I have, um, I'd be a fool not to take advantage of it, so I'm going in to get that done. And it was a complete uh, ACL rupture, either the day of the injury or with one of the little slips that I had in the months of training afterwards. But it's just, uh, it needs to get done. So I'm going in early in the morning anyway to stop rambling about that. And they're going to do a patellar tendon autograft. So they're going to take a piece of my patellar tendon out, or patellar ligament if you will. So what connects the kneecap to the front of the tibia. And use that to reconstruct my ACL because that my ACL, my anterior cruciate ligament, is completely gone. I have none. Uh, based on the imaging anyway, they haven't actually scoped me, but based on the MRI and also the amount of laxity and instability that they're noticing on the clinical exams or from the clinical exams on my knee, there's probably no intact ACL left. Just some scar tissue in its place. So... That's not going to spontaneously heal on its own. Um, so we'll see how it goes. It's supposed to be a several months long journey to recover from that. I currently have work orders from my doctor to be out for light duty uh, for at least three months or about three months before I'm approved for light duty at work and another three months, so six months total, before I'm approved for full duty. And given that my job does not allow people to return on light duty, they have to be fully cleared. It basically means I'm not going back to that job for a better part of six months. Unless I negotiate it down, it will depend somewhat on what my uh, recovery looks like. I might be able to renegotiate. But I'm out for a while. So, what can I do? I will be updating with videos chronicling my recovery. I might do another video tomorrow that I might not be able to upload until later because I'll probably be all medicated after the uh, surgery. But um, I might do some videos initially just like going in and coming out and then also just tracking my progress immediately after the surgery and then maybe periodically throughout showing well what the scarring looks like but also what kind of function I'm regaining, the kinds of exercises I might be doing what my timeline, what the trajectory looks like. I figured maybe that'll be interesting for some people. So if that's interesting to you, tune in. And uh, I look forward to being able to share it. Hopefully I come out the other side of the surgery okay and I can do it. I'm going to have the time. So we'll, uh, we'll see about getting that done. If you watch this long, thank you. I appreciate the support and the interest. Um, if you want to comment with any suggestions on this video please do. Things you'd like to see or like to hear about as I recover. Uh, questions you might have. Not that I'm going to be an authority. I'm just going to be another random person who's gone through an ACL surgery out of the, you know, seven trillion other people who've done it. Um, but if I can help somebody, I'd like to. I used to teach biomechanics in a university. I still do a little bit of that on the side. Um, and I would use opportunities like this to teach people. So uh, if it helps anyone, then I'm happy. And eventually, I'll regain some actual martial arts capability, and I will start redoing, doing more videos on that. So if you're interested in that, 
let me know. Uh, stay tuned. And thanks for watching. Take care.